Welcome back to the third video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I made this awesome Spider-Man composition where I included the three live action Spider-Man. Also do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoy. So I started off with already pulling up three images of each Spider-Man and at first I couldn't figure out what exactly I was going for. I just knew that I wanted to make this a really cool and awesome piece that a lot of people would like. Um, it was inspired by watching the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, yeah. Um, and one thing that I think all fans want to see is the return of all the live action Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. So I wanted to include each of their Spider-Man in this piece. Now, I'm going to be honest, I wanted Tobey in the front, but Andrew had the best photo. So I went ahead and used that one because it just made more sense to include a photo like that in the front. Um, so I went ahead and started grabbing different pieces to put in the background, um, getting a city, a pole for um, Spider-Man, uh, Tom Holland to stand on. And I didn't know what to put for Toby to be swinging from or coming down from. So you can kind of use your imagination to guess that. So right now, again, I'm just, you know, kind of masking everything out. Uh, taking away what I don't want to be included and just keeping what I want there and yeah so as I'm doing that I'll let you guys watch Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what happened here. Midway through, um, during the screen recording, it cut out or something happened and it didn't get a chance to show the entire process of you know, creating that entire background. So I do apologize for that. So with that being said, we're just gonna have to pick up where it left off at. So right here, um, I'm, I'm, you know, adding everything to the smoke that needs to be added to try to make it look as real as possible. It was actually pretty difficult to do, but I eventually was able to figure it out and make it look as real as possible while also adding that glow from the fire to the building. And then right here, this is my favorite part. Now we're on to the shadowing and adding the highlights and the colors to the Spider-Man, the main piece. So right here, I started with Tobey Maguire. He was probably the funnest one to do. So I went ahead and started, you know, adding the shadows to him and then going ahead and adding a hue and saturation to create that glow on him where it looks as if that 
the light of the fire is reflecting off of him to again to make it look as real as possible and this was definitely my favorite part of it um not sure why toby but toby's the goat so i had to just you know try my best to go all out with him and then i moved on to the next spider-man but i wanted to add two lights a light source from the back which was the fire and a nice blue light from the front which you'll see me input soon. Okay guys, midway through I realized that the screen recording basically did nothing um, and it did not get a chance to screen record me doing the other Spider-Man so Toby was the only one you guys got to partially see so I'm just going to wrap this video up here and hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the process. I know it wasn't the best video but I promise I will figure out what's going on and for the next video you guys will have something pretty good and yeah I'm just gonna wrap it up here unfortunately you guys did not get a chance to see the entire process that went into making this composition but here is the final piece and I really hope you guys enjoy the way this looks 
again next video i will make sure you have something better and you can see the full process of making these compositions Again, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, check out some of these. Also, don't forget to subscribe.